This video is an explanation of the different training techniques and exercises prescribed to the patient for the prehabilitation of an ACL rupture. In regards to preventing an ACL rupture injury, there is not one exclusive type of training technique or exercise that can prevent the injury completely. However, research suggests that adding a variety of different training techniques to a prehabilitation program can aid in the prevention of an ACL rupture. Resistance training can aid in the prevention of an ACL rupture as an increase in strength can support the surrounding muscles. According to a study by Sepsis et al, Resistant training exercises will allow the athlete to create muscle imbalances and increase muscle strength to support joints. It is important to strengthen quadriceps as it increases the surrounding muscles, which brings stability to the knee joints, which are inherently unstable and dependent on ligaments and muscles to protect them from injury during dynamic movements. These are two examples of resistance training exercises that were performed in the prehabilitation program prescribed for the quadriceps. Front barbell squats and wall sits. With wall sits, studies suggest that isometric holds increase muscle activation. This can improve the athlete's movement performed in basketball such as landing from a rebound. The first exercise performed will be for the quadriceps. Um, you will perform a barbell dumbbell front squat. Uh, the athlete here will put position of dumbbells above the shoulder and then you will squat down to a 90, degree, to a 90 degrees and keep performing that movement until eight to 10 reps, like so. To progress this exercise, the athlete will squat down to 90 degrees and maintain an isometric hold for two to three seconds and then proceed to go up. And then repeat that movement for another eight to 10 reps. If the exercise is too hard with the weights, to make this easier, you can just simply do it without any weights, maintaining correct form and biomechanics. The next quarter set exercise will be wall sits. So the patient will just bend his knees to a 90 degree position. And then hold that position until over 15 to 20 seconds. This is an isometric exercise. If this is too hard for the patient, the patient can slightly raise up. And then just keep that isometric hold there. To increase the intensity of this exercise, the patient will hold the weight and then drop back down to 90 degrees. The next muscle group is the hamstring muscles. The hamstring muscles are responsible for both knee flexion and hip extension, which are two important actions in the running motion. Hamstring is an important muscle group to improve as it is the antagonist muscle group to the quadriceps. Overdeveloped muscle groups cause imbalances which can lead to an ACL rupture as biomechanics can be altered. These are the two examples of resistant training exercises for the hamstrings. These are straight leg deadlifts, and hamstring curls with the use of therabands. The next exercise we will perform will be for the hamstring, and this is also a resistant training as well. So the patient will pick up the, uh, bar, uh, the dumbbell and will perform a Romanian deadlift, maintaining a straight back through the movements, and then raising up and perform that movement for eight to ten reps. If this exercise is too hard for the patient, lowering the weight, or you can use it any weight, you can still perform that same movement. And to progress, using a heavier weight. So the patient is simply just gonna bring his foot towards his, um, towards his center, and then perform that movement against the resistance arm for eight to 10 reps. Maintaining resistance through the If this is too hard for a patient, using a slightly weaker TheraBand will help, or just holding the... If this is too hard for the patient, using a weaker TheraBand will help, or using no TheraBand at all, and just squeezing at the top of the movement. To progress this, you will be to use a thicker TheraBand. Glutes was another muscle group that was prescribed to the patient in their prehabilitation program. Strong glutes are important for proper pelvic alignment, propulsion during running, and even single limb stance support. 
Strong glutes also help to support the lower back during lifting motions, landing mechanics, and prevent knee injuries during loading movements. These were the glute exercises uh, performed. Crab walks, which targets the glute medius muscles, which help with hip, st hip stability, and glute bridges, which targets the larger gluteus maximus muscle. The next glute exercise will be a crab side step. So the athlete will get into an athletic stance, feet shoulder width apart, making sure his knees is in line with his body. And he will just do a side step to the right, leading with his right foot, keeping that shoulder width apart the whole time, and making sure the uh, glutes are activated. If this is too hard for the patient, the patient can take the TheraBand off. It's a progressive exercise, a thicker TheraBand can be used. The next resistance training exercise will be for the glutes, so the patient will get into a glute bridge position, so his heels just under his knees, with his hands just by his side, and will raise his hips up all the way, and holding it for two to three seconds and lowering his body back down again. To make this exercise easier if the patient is struggling and to bring the heat, feet uh, closer into his body. And to progress, it will be slightly bring the feet further up. And another variation will be to do a single leg boot bridge. Plyometrics is a type of training that can aid in the prevention of an ACL rupture as it involves explosive moves that help build power, strength and speed which facilitate stability in the ACL structure. Studies show that plyometric training is beneficial for athletes who participate in sports that have a demand in cutting, pivoting and jumping and landing. Making the exercises sports specific trains the neuromuscular further which will allow the movements to be replicated in games with correct form. These are examples of plyometric exercises. Backboard touches. If the patient does not have access to a backboard, this exercise can be replicated by performing squat jumps with maximum effort if patient is able to. And bounding jumps. The next training technique will be plyometrics. So the athlete is going to uh, get into an athletic stance and then he's going to perform bounding movements or skater hops to a specific distance and then backwards. To progress the bound exercise, the patient will jump from these different cones, which are different distances and directions. If the exercise is too difficult for the patient, he can simply perform many bounding jumps. The second plyometric exercise will be backboard touches. The patient will simply approach the backboard and explode up and touch the backboard. To make this exercise easier, you can just simply aim for the net. This is exercise we can make it sport specific. So I can launch the basketball off the backboard and then he'll go and reach for it. Proprioception training is a type of training which can aid in the prevention of ACL ruptures by improving the body's ability to maintain stability and orientation during dynamic activities. These are examples of proprioception exercises. Single leg stands and ball to the wall. An exercise ball can also be used for this exercise and adding an additional person to place their foot on the ball will increase another element of proprioception being worked on. The next training technique will be proprioception training. So the patient's gonna stand on one leg and simply hold that position. This could be for a number of amount of seconds. To progress this, you can close his eyes. This will remove the sensory and more focus on, it will allow them to focus more on the front perception. Adding cues such as cones for him to touch 
That will also add to the proprioception as well. The next proprioception exercise would be a ball on his feet against the wall. So the patient will put his ball on the wall. Now he can either do write his name with the ball. If this is too difficult for the patient, the patient can just simply hold the ball in one position. ACL ruptures can be prevented through effective prehabilitation methods being implemented in order to reduce the risk factors that can lead to injuries. Having an understanding of risk factors associated with the athlete's sport that can contribute to a pathology allows sports therapists to have a better knowledge and understanding of the exercise prescription that will be given to the patient in order to reduce the risk of injury. An exercise program that implements multiple training techniques, which includes the improvements of strength, stability, balance, creates muscle imbalance, and improves muscle activation can aid in the prevention of an ACL rupture.